cooking is essential to our daily survival. It is how we sustain ourselves and our loved ones. However, for millions each year, the conditions in which they fulfill this basic necessity are deadly. Vandana lives in Jagdishpur, India. For years, she watched as her hard work to care for her family put their health and lives in jeopardy. It was her desire to provide for her children that left them exposed to toxins and in danger. It was very difficult for my children. It was so smoky that children could not even do schoolwork inside the house. I used to get sick and cough all the time. My eyes hurt from the smoke and I had trouble breathing. Burning firewood and coal is unsustainable and a threat to the health of billions of people around the world. Families in the developing world currently rely on these solid fuels to cook for their families. While the repeated use of these fuels has a great economic cost, their detrimental effects on people's health and the overall environment is the most pressing issue at hand. Three billion people around the world burn wood, charcoal, or coal in open fires or inefficient stoves for daily cooking and heating. Burning coal and firewood emits particles and toxins, including carbon monoxide and formaldehyde. High exposure to these toxins can lead to lung problems like lung cancer and heart problems like heart disease. 6% of deaths from indoor air pollution are due to lung cancer, and 69% are from stroke and heart disease. The World Health Organization reports that smoke and gases from cooking fires in poor developing countries lead to almost 2 million deaths every year. The problem of kitchen pollutants is a health issue, but it is also a social issue. Women around the world, like Vandana, are more often responsible for the household cooking, and so they spend hours each day in the kitchen. Indoor air pollution disproportionately impacts these women who cook inside, and the children they may be caring for as they cook. However, men die from kitchen pollutants at a higher rate than women because the effects of indoor air pollutants are exacerbated by other risk factors more common in men such as smoking. The effects of the exposed toxins go beyond harming families within the household. The toxins that leave the household account for 12% of ambient air pollution in the world and have dangerous implications for climate change. When these solid fuels are repeatedly burned uncontained, the greenhouse gases from these emissions are released into the atmosphere. Furthermore, the harvesting of wood decreases the number of trees that can absorb carbon from the atmosphere. While there have been technologies developed to reduce the amount of toxins emitted from cooking stoves, they are inaccessible to the very people who need them most. The victims of kitchen pollutants are families in developing countries that cannot afford to purchase kitchen appliances, such as range hoods, that control the toxins during cooking. In addition to being financially inaccessible, range hoods, even those commonly used in the United States, on average only capture 30% of the toxins produced. Better stoves are currently being developed and seem to be the most promising solution. These stoves, along with a shift to cleaner gas fuels, would completely eliminate the health issues associated with kitchen pollutants. Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, with the support of the United Nations, is doing important research to make clean cook stoves that will greatly reduce health impacts and to make those stoves widely available. Funding is needed to find cost-effective equitable solutions to the global problem of kitchen pollutants. Organizations like Practical Action, a project of the Shoemaker Center, work with governments, NGOs, and those affected by the issue to cut toxin emissions and improve human health. Practical Action is currently working with the Nepali government to make all homes in Nepal smoke-free by 2017. By developing affordable, efficient smoke hoods, improved stoves, and fireless cookers, practical action can make a significant difference. You can help realize this change. We have the power and the responsibility to support efforts to reduce kitchen pollutants. Find out more information or donate to either of these organizations working towards resolving this important global issue.